Hey everybody, it's Miranda. I do have Deb here with me too. Hi. We thought we would do something a little fun, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know that Deb's going to participate in it, but I am going to be doing kind of like the hot ones. We're just going to call it the hot take. Um, so for our hot take, we've got several different versions of hot sauces here. We're going to be talking a little bit more about each and every single one of them. I've got my handy dandy drink here and milk. The wings are back here behind it, um, but we thought we'd just have some fun with it and do like a Disney edition of it. So let's get started. Come along for the ride. I guess I need to segue this and say that um, I do have Jotham behind the camera, so he's going to be asking the questions of me, and Deb's just kind of here for moral support. Like, I, I don't want him eating all the hot sauces. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll get started. All right. Who is your favorite Disney character? Ooh. Okay. This one's pretty easy. Um, so we're starting with Bird after eating a hot sauce. Uh, so this is the first one. I take the bite first. Mm. Okay. Whew. Okay, that had a good kick to it. Favorite Disney character, obviously Belle. Like she's smart, right? She's a bookworm. We're trying to get along. I like to read. She likes to read. She needs adventure. That's my go-to gal. Who is your favorite Disney character, Meet and Greet? Ooh, favorite Disney character, Meet and Greet. Okay, so for the next one here, um, I think we're just going to work on the same one, just to kind of intensify it a little bit. Mm. So while I know Meet and greets are not totally kosher right now, and they're kind of different. In Walt Disney World, um, Peter Pan, he's pretty exclusive for a meet and greet opportunity. He's he's pretty well known to be out in the park, but he's kind of elusive um, in, in being able to catch him at certain times of the day. But he always has the best interactions. So Peter Pan, for sure, hands down. Next question. What is your favorite park and why? Mm. Okay, so favorite park. Hmm. Obviously, Magic Kingdom. It has the fireworks, has the most rides, lots of character meet and greets, and of course, the parades. So, Magic Kingdom. Okay, let's move on to our next wing. Okay. What is your favorite resort and why? Mm. We all know this one. Favorite resort. Okay, let I me mean, back up here. This one is the Chicago. Red hot jalapeno hot sauce. Whew. Now I'm starting to get it. Um, take a bite. How am I doing, bud? Good. I don't think you're holding it up. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to hold up too well either. Whew. Favorite resort, uh, hands down, Coronado Springs. It's just got that Southwest Tex Mex type feel. Um, just feels like home to me. The pool is great. The grounds are beautiful. It's a really, really big resort. The food there is wonderful too. What is your favorite attraction at each park? Ooh, okay, so favorite attraction at each park. Hmm. This is already starting to get really hot, sorry. Um, favorite attract attraction at each park, obviously, High Mansion at Magic Kingdom, hands down. Uh, Epcot for right now is Test Track. I'm probably gonna switch that Guardians of the Galaxy whenever that opens. Uh, Animal Kingdom, surprisingly, is Dinosaur, just because it's always down. <laughs> but I think it's such a cool dark ride. And uh, Hollywood Studios, I would say my favorite ride there is Tower Care because of the thrill, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that ride. What is your favorite childhood Disney movie? What is my favorite childhood Disney movie? Is this I make three I, for this one? Mm-hmm. I think I know this one. All right. Answer. Mm, I think it might be Indiana Jones. What is my favorite childhood Disney movie? My favorite childhood Disney movie has to be um, Beauty and the Beast. 
my mom tells a story all the time about <clears throat> when the movie came out on video, even whenever I was very, very little, I don't think I could like even form sentences yet. When they got the video for me, I had to watch it nine times in a row before I go to sleep. So hands down, Belle's my favorite character, the is my favorite movie. All right, uh, let's move on to our next one. Okay. What is your favorite Disney movie right now? Favorite Disney movie right now. Okay, so we're moving on to the next sauce, next wing. This is Heartbeat Hot Sauce. It's a pineapple habanero. Woo. Okay, we're not even like halfway here, guys. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to repeat that question. I've already forgotten. What is your favorite Disney movie right now? Mm. I know that kick's getting ready to come in, so I'm going to answer before that kick hits it. <laughs> Favorite Disney movie right now has to be Coco. Those right. songs are just so catchy. All right. If you could spend a day with Walt, what would you do? Ooh, this is a good question. Day with Walt, what would I do? I would want him to take me around to all of his favorite things about the parks. Um, I, I just think that he had such an insight into what people really wanted from the parts, what people wanted to feel from the experiences, and to be able to gain that insight, um, because I, I guess because I am familiar with the attractions and the rides and, and the shows, it's different now because being able to see all those things and then be able to get his version of it and what he was trying to invoke into his guests would really make that worth it for me. So, the experiences. What are the must-have snacks for your trip? Is this number three mm -hmm. on, on this one? Yes. Must-have snacks for trips. Okay, I need some clarity. Like snacks that I'm picking up in the parks or snacks that I'm bringing with you me? You just can't go to the parks and not have it. Mm. Well, that's easy enough. Popcorn. Who doesn't love Disney popcorn? There's just something about the Disney popcorn. It has a whole different feel. I think it comes down to the way not only is it salted and buttered, but the way it's prepared. It's not just in a microwave or in, you know microwaveable bag. Um, so popcorn, obviously. Um, I don't drink water, obviously, <laughs> very often. So sodas. I'm, I'm a big soda person. Shout out Coca Cola. Um, the Mickey Ice Cream Premium bars are awesome, but I have to be in a mood for them. Um, but I really, really, really like those um, strawberry fruit bars that are from Mexico. I think you can pick them up in all the parks now. But that's a really good one. And I know they don't have it now, but Aloha Isle in Magic Kingdom had the pineapple Dole Whip with the upside down cake. So you had the pineapple upside down cake and then the Dole Whip on top of it. Just the classic pineapple Dole Whip. Amazing. So all yes, right. all the favorites. We know your passion for lounge flies, but what do you bring in your park bag? Ooh, okay. Lounge fly <laughs> park bags. Okay. Moving on, this is no, this is the next one, right? Yes. So this is the Bravado Spice Company Aka Miso Ghost Reaper. It's got like five flames on this bottle, so I think we're like mid-grade here now. Um, okay, I'll take a bite, I'll think on it, and then I might have you repeat the question because I'm trying really hard not to concentrate on how like burning my lips are. Yes, you know, I love my lounge flies, you know, I have to have my bags, but they're also really small, right? So I have to be really selective about what I'm bringing in them. Obviously, you gotta bring my phone, you gotta bring my keys, because we normally park at the parks and we don't get the Disney transportation over. Um, my wallet, my keys, my phone, my streaming equipment, um, all my tech stuff, but I don't bring a whole lot of like other extras. Um, I put a lot of my cards mobily on different devices so that way I don't have to bring those into the parks physically with me. Uh, and it's always not a bad idea to bring a Disney gift card. So in case you were to like lose the gift card, you can replace it online. So that, that's a good one. Um, and of course, a battery pack and a charger because nowadays you can't get around the Disney parks without that. Oh, so okay. um, sometimes occasionally a fan, but it's something that I have to hold on to. So it's not really something that I, I like to get into very much. Describe your ideal job if you work for Disney. Ooh, ideal job working for Disney. That's a good one. 
Okay. Okay. So. Ideal realistic job working for Disney would probably be media content coordinator. I like seeing all the different pictures and the displays and everything on um, and the videos on the websites and the apps and the media content for the commercials and stuff like they just make you feel good. So I want to be part of making you feel good. Um, I'm also a realtor, so I do have a real estate license. So another maybe realistic job would be like Disney Vacation Club guide selling the, the Disney Vacation Club uh, memberships. But if I could have like any job, any job, Josh tomorrow, I'm coming for your job. Um, parks and entertainment, like parks and guest experience. Because um, I want to know. I want to know all the inf insight. I want to know all the feelings and all the, the know how and what everybody thinks of all the experiences. So I think I'd be pretty good at that one. Do you like to rope drop or close parks? Ooh, this is a loaded question for me. Okay, so I'm totally going to drag Jonathan through the rails on this one. Sorry, honey. Um, rope drop or park close? Um, my best answer to that is why not have them both? <laughs> Which drives my family absolutely insane. I am upset when I can't get there before park openings and I'm really upset if I have to leave before the park closes, like even after the park closes. <laughs> um, so actually, Jonathan, you mentioned to me that just the other day, uh, you're like, you used to cry every time I left the parks. <laughs> and I know that sounds really embarrassing, but I did <laughs> because I didn't know when I would be back. I would be back. Um, so now that I get to go on a more regular basis, I don't have to miss it, miss it as much. Um, but yeah, I say why not both? My family would say otherwise, but I'm park open to park closed even beyond. All right, let's move on to our next wing. Was this one three for this one? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, I actually like that one. Do you like to start in Mexico or Canada when visiting Epcot? Ooh, starting in Mexico or Canada. Okay, I think I'm reaching the point where I'm just numb now, so I, I didn't even feel <laughs> that way. <laughs> um, this one is Los Calientes. And, and this is a legit Hot Ones sauce. I think all of these are, but this one just happens to have it on the label. Um, just for reference, this one says that it's like a 8 out of 10 on everything. Just, just so we're clear on that. So we're, we're really starting to get into the heavy duty here. Sorry, question again. Do you like to start in Mexico or Canada mm. when visiting Epcot? Okay. So when you're going to the World Showcase, do you visit... Do you go left to Mexico? Oh my goodness, this one's hot. Where do you go? <clears throat> hmm. Right to Canada to start. Um, we always have to have a really nice drink in Mexico. Look at me dancing around now. I will always say Mexico just because it's like ingrained in me to go clockwise. However, if I'm feeling really out of place, I will I will go counterclockwise and go through Canada. But more more times than not, I, I go through Mexico first. Oh my goodness, this is hot. All right. Since we're on Epcot, are you team green or orange? Ooh. Or team don't ride in mission space? Okay. Team green, team orange, or team don't ride at all. I think you've written on both, right? I have written both. They're completely different experiences. When you ride team green, you ride through Earth, just a slingshot around Earth. When you ride team orange, you go around Mars. So, for thrill level, Team Orange all the way. You know I'm all about the thrill rides, but they're completely different experiences. So sometimes I like to mix it up, but um, I don't get a whole lot out of Team Green unless I'm just riding with the kids or something. Dole Whip or Mickey Bar. Okay, so I think the question was Dole Whip or Mickey Bar. Ooh, sorry guys, I'm really, really trying to fill this one now. I'm always down for Dole Whip. Mickey bars I have to be in a um, in a mood for <coughs> in a mood for so not always. Mickey bars 
have been made for, but only because they're made with milk chocolate. I feel like if they were made with dark chocolate, I would always be team Mickey ice cream bar. All right, we're moving on to the bomb. We're getting there. This is the bomb. This one says, warning, this sauce is extremely hot. Keep out of reach of children. Consume one drop at a time with extreme caution. Whoo, there go my eyes. I need you to ask the question. <laughs> what is your favorite Disney pull and why? Mm. I feel like I'm really instantly going to regret this. And I don't want to cheat, so I have to take my little Take a itty bitty bite. Okay. Okay, so favorite pool, Disney's Pony Village Resort. It looks like a nice baby full grotto. Runner up to that would be um Animal Kingdom Lodge Pool and the Jumbo Pool. Next question. What is your top Disney bucket list item? Oh my gosh, that is hot. Top bucket list item for just the parks or like? Yeah. Oof. Top bucket list item at Disney is legit full on VIP tour for the day at Christmas time. Last question for the bomb. On a scale to 1 to 10, how much Disney knowledge do you think you have? Who? Scale of 1 to 10, how much Disney knowledge do I think I have? <clears throat> I want to say I'm a solid 8 or 9. I obviously don't have a whole lot of, you know, insider information. Holy moly. <clears throat> Gosh, that's hot. Do you want to Solid eight or nine, um, just because I can't know it all. But I will say I'm pretty familiar. Next question. All right, so this is called the last dab. You can either choose to add a little more to it. It's already been pre-coated. Um, we just want to get a little bit about what what's in Miranda's world. What's upcoming? What's what do we have? forward to see uh, anything you want to tell anybody I need I need milk now I'm tapping oh man my eyes sorry guys what can you expect coming up we've got lots of really cool new experiences I know Disney has the um, Festival of Fantasy Parade coming back up. So we'll be seeing that when it returns on March 9th. Disney's Flower and Garden Festival is coming back up. We've got lots and lots and lots of resort stays coming up so we can see all the ring reviews, um, get a good description of what you can expect inside the ring, the size, the dimensions, check out the resorts. And we're hopefully gonna see Guardians of the Galaxy Coaster opening up soon. We don't know really much about Tron, um, but I really would like a nice sneak peek at those once they are up and coming. So stay tuned for some more information on those. And I hope you've really enjoyed this hot take with me. But I'm going to chug all the milk now. So <laughs> thanks for hanging with us, guys. And we'll see you soon.